Hey guys, how are you going? My name is Dom and in this video we're going to take a look at the word break CSS property. Um, so basically this property is used for when you want to handle um, the overflow of text within an HTML container. So for example here I've got um, three examples of text overflowing over the container it is within. Um, so basically Word break is going to allow you to handle that in different ways and possibly make it look better and more readable. So let's go inside the editor here and I've basically got um, I've got the three divs with different classes on them. This is your first regular div without the um, the word break property and these two with break word and break all we're going to be exploring these two different um, uh, values for the word break CSS property up inside here. So let's first look at the break word value. So let's go inside here and we're going to say word break and set word break to be uh, break word. So let's type out break word right there. I can save this and then uh, refresh the browser and we can see here um, it looks a bit better. Um, so we can see that the in this video part has um, broken up and the video has gone down to the second line. So um, from what I understand and from what documentation says, um, the break word value is going to be breaking up the words at arbitrary points. So basically it's going to be trying its absolute best to preserve the words and try and make it as readable as possible. but it's not going to be perfect. Unfortunately, if your words are just too long, then um, the browser can't do much but simply break up the words at certain points. But if it can preserve the words, it's going to try. Um, it's going to try its best to do so. So um, that is the break word uh, value right there. For the break all value. We can just type out word break and then break all. This one is going to be a bit more hardcore. It's actually going to try its absolute best to squeeze in as many like letters as it can on each line. So you can see here, um, you know, this whole thing is basically just squished down as much as possible, um, just to take up the least space. And of course, it's also probably um, the most unreadable type of the word break um, property. So of course you can go inside here and you can uh, try out different values for word break whether it's going to be break all or break word and figure out which one works best for you in your particular use case. Alright and that is the word break CSS property. Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you later.